today on my show of what I'm going to talk about on my show today is I'm going to talk about is the history of Deborah Galestone. So Deborah Galestone was the first child of Bill and Marilyn Stone and was born on June 18th, 1956 in Santa Ana, California. She was so Deborah Gilstone was very beautiful and talented. She excelled in academics as well as athletics, especially track and swimming. So that was part of her life story. She graduated from the Santa Ana High School. She had just enrolled herself for freshman year at the Iowa State University, where in order to save for her college tuition, she applied for a summer job at Disneyland working as a Disneyland hostess. And also like she was very excited to work at her dream job for Disney because yes, even though Disney is really awesome and cool, then later on June 28th, 1974, when she was beginning to work for the Disney Park in Anaheim, California. So last show around 10.30 p.m. So it was nighttime when the stages were shifting positions. The hostess, Debbie Stone, so this is a true story. So the cast member might have been crushed between the walls of the two theaters. So this is a true story, like what happened, like when the cast member died back in the 70s. So also another true story, like, what happened, like, see, people, like, when they were watching the show of America Sings, like, they heard a scream, like, they thought it was, like, part of the show or something, but it was not part of the show. Then later, and then later, on July 8th, 1974, for Deborah Gelstone, like how she worked for Disney, she died like in 74. Then later, like after the cast member died, so like the ride of American America Sings had to close for a while until it was reopened back then. Then later, America Sings closed back in the year 1988. So, yep. So, after Deborah Gelstone died on July 8th, 1974, so she had her memorial service at Memorial Park in her hometown, Santa Ana, California. So that's a true story. And I also want to make this special tribute for 
the Bora Gelstone, like how she used to work for the Disney Parks and the Disney Corporation a long time ago. So yeah, and I just want to let everyone know if she was alive today, she would have been like 63 years old. So yeah, and I just want to let everyone know the story I told you. That's a true story, what happened at Disneyland. And that's all for my show today. Make sure to comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. And click like on the bottom below if anyone enjoyed my episode today. And that's all for my show today. And see you next time.